Hello, in this video I will show you how to make a design in Matrix Gold and then bring it to Counter Sketch so you can uh, have it in your library to show in your retail store. So, let's start with, I have this page, I want to make a uh, new rings, so I will start with, the, let me go to transform and I will use the smart pattern. So, the first thing that I will do is select this surface. I will use this one. Let's see how does it looks like. Now it's thinking and adding. All right, so let me go to the quick edit mode because I just want one here. So now I will place just one flower and also I will go like 0.3 because I want this to be very, very thin. Uh, not just one here and the thickness 0.3. So now it will be as you can see, much thinner. So again, I will do the same, but now on this surface here, I will use the same pattern. Actually, what happens if we use this one? Let's see what happens. Okay, again, I will use just one here. I will do the same that I did on point three. And I will have to go and put less distance between them because I want them to touch each other. So I will go, I think that is on the V main minus one. Let's see how that looks like. Oh, it's the U. Okay. Very nice. This is what I was looking for. Also, What I will do, because I need this part to touch here, so probably I can rotate them. On the other way. Uh, minus one, let's see how that looks, looks like this. Very good. So now as you can see, they're touching each other. What I will do next is select this part and this part and just do a mirror. Because now if I just get this part and bring it here, this is what we get. Now what I will also do is get uh, this curve to edge. Okay, so now I have this edge. And I will apply here from solid, the rope. I select this curve. It needs to be thinner, 0 0.4. Let me hide this one so I can see the overall. Still is too thick, 0.3. Like this is okay. And if I want like this, sorry, like this, I can get the turn distance smaller so I get more turns and it looks also nicer. Again, I will do the mirror, very nice, 
and now so now I need a nice finish here so I will bring back this part and I will select with the do patch I will select this 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 and this I click enter and now the only thing that I need to do is just join them so now I have this nice curve here that I can use to place a pipe so I can do something like that I will make it even smaller like this is okay and I will do the same here curve do patch this one, this one, this one, and this one. Join. And now I will do the from solid, the pipe. Okay. What is next now? I want to add also a few stones here. To do this, I will come and I just select the curve that we have. And I will do from curves an offset. Not in that direction, I will go to the other direction. So I have this curve here. And now I will trim it. I will trim this curve because I don't want to go through the middle, so trim curve like this is okay. And now I will select this curve and this surface, and I will project. So now we have this curve here where we can apply a profile placer I will select another profile like this one I will keep it like this. So the total is 1.6. I want just to be a bit more higher than what we have here. I will put one just here and another one at the end of this curve that will be just here this is okay let me be sure yes this is what we want I will go though with the sweep one All right, and now from here, I will go to the curve and I will extract the ISO curve from this surface. Mm -hmm. 
and I will add a few stones. Here. Okay, just let me bring it a bit up to here so we have a space for the prongs. Because now what I will do with these gems is place prongs. I will make them smaller and I will do the same to the ones at the end. I need to choose this one and for the diameter I will go to 0 0.4 so now they are pretty much the same. Okay, as you know we can just do the transform cutters the cutters for this part I will get and I will go to tools solid sorry and I will get the boolean difference between this part and this part so now we get all the holes now I will get the stones, the prongs, and this, and I will go to transform, and I will use the mirror. Okay, I can get already rid of this one, so this is what we get now. And now what I will do is just go to my collections, I will go to findings and I will get this part. What else can we do? So what I will do now is first of all I will save all this just in this job back so I will have it here just if I need it later on. And now what I will do is just save it to import it into counter sketch. Okay, so now I will have this part here. I'm saving all the parts. So because I want to now to have it in counter sketch, I just take this part out. And now what I also have to do is just bring this metal here. Okay, so now I have this one the same metal color so it's very important on what layers do I have them in order to import uh, them into counter sketch something that I can also do is just select this one uh, just let me get this one so the prongs and this and this so this will go to that layer okay and also the same with this one let me get the stones out So this part I will also re will bring it to this layer. Okay, so now we have this. What we can do now? Now what I will do is just export this part 
as uh, earrings. But let me just select. Just let me click Save As. As a Rhino 5, because Counter Sketch is been is run by Rhino 5 earrings. So now I'm saving this file in earrings. And now what I will do next is just get Counter Sketch. I will go to the main screen and in the freehand parts I can go to the user parts and add my own parts so I don't want a counter sketch I want a Rhino file and I need to look for the earrings because I know that these ones are saved as you can see in Rhino 5 okay so I select these ones and now these earrings will appear in the main viewport of counter sketch this is very very useful because if you have the workshop and also the 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 store where you meet your customers you can have this so you can show them from the store how this design looks like what else can i do i can come here and just change the metal from here so now as you can see because this is the layer where i have been saving the metal I have it into different layers and I can also come to the secondary and do the same. Okay. And the same with the stones. If I want to change the stones to any of those, sapphire, sapphire, garnet, look how many do we have. Okay. So you can do anything that you want and what you can also do from here is just do a quick estimate on what the price will be for this piece you can put your markups and you will get the price on this design now we are doing all the operations behind the scenes And there we go. Here we have the weight with all the different metals. And depending on the markups that you have, we have all the price for only the mounting and what will be the cost for the stones. The weight, so everything. This is approximate, but it's a very, very good tool once you are in front of the customer to show the price straightforward. All right, so I hope that this has been a, a good video for you. I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching.